How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of Hill Farm said jams in the form of their Hugh. Hugh? Hyg? Um, yeah, the Hyg, right? Is that the place? That's the place in the Netherlands. The, um, the Hog. Is that how they say that? Yeah, Hyg. We're going to go with Hyg. This is their American Red Ale Brewed. I was confusing it with, um... God, I forget the name of that place. There's a really good record company. Sorry to hijack the shit so early. There's a really good record company. Uh, makes weird kind of bassy, bleepy kind of electronic music called Bunker Records. And they're in The Hog in the Netherlands. So when I see that, I see Heig, Heig, and I kind of want to pronounce it that way. Anyway, this is uh, American Red Ale from Hill Farmstead. Brewed with Cascade, Centennial, Chinook, and Simcoe hops. So you're going really old school here. Not only in the style of beer, you're talking about a red ale, but you're going a lot of those old school C's. So you're talking about a West Coasty beer. Throw in that little Simcoe. We'll see how that plays. Maybe a little cat beer or whatnot. Dive in a sucker. See what she's got. This comes courtesy of my boy Keith. This beer be in my possession for about an hour. Um, I just went on a little road trip today. Went out and about with Taco. Uh, took him up to the old um, Equilibrium Brewing. And I took a rushing duck. And on the way back, I hooked up with my buddy Keith. And he dropped a couple of beers off on me. And this is one of them. Thank you very much, brother. Label-wise, it is Hill Farm said through and through. It's pretty much what they do. Um, and it's red because it's a red ale. Get it? That looks probably more like a barley wine than a red ale from what you typically expect from a um, red ale classically they usually come off a bit more clear um but this one looks like a hazy red ale is that a bad thing no not necessarily i'm kind of interested how those nose will go cheers not over the top i mean you do get the spiciness you do go to classic c slightly west coast leaning a little bit little bit piney, danky, resininess, subtleness, but it's more spicy, more herbal, more like a, like tea on steroids kind of spiciness. There's a sweetness underneath it, but nothing too crazy. It smells like a chugger. It smells like a drinker. What's the ABV in this sucker? Um, yeah, it does not say. I'm kind of curious about this. As far as dating goes for you guys out there, this be almost exactly a month old. And, um, yeah, they're telling you to only give this about a bit over a month as far as drinking time. I don't think I've ever seen that in the Hell Farm said beer before. Best Buy. There's a Born On and Best Buy on there. So, yeah. No ABV. Yeah. Spicy, malty. Um, so, it smells like kind of like a like a hopped up kind of a rye beer, a little bit of red ale, those kind of things going on. We're just going to dive in. Cheers. nice those hops really shine through and they definitely come off resinous in an old school kind of way because when you talk about resinous beers nowadays it's kind of like a challenge thing where people want to just make the uber dank resin icky sticky kind of beers this is like what i remember old school red Ales kind of being the big difference here the kind of flip the script thing is the mouthfeel uh, it comes off very creamy, very sultry, very soft. That's not something you typically get out of any red ales, even kind of new school ones, because when people go back to the red ale, especially nowadays, they're usually going to go an old school classic, like keeping it like super OG. This has that new school kind of sultry, soft, creamy mouthfeel, um, but you're adding those kind of old school hops in play there. So you're getting that um, resinous spiciness, that herbaliness, that little bit of tea bag, a um, little bit of spicy kind of um, almost like a, it's like a, a, like you want to think like pine bark as opposed to pine needles on this kind of like that resinous kind of vibe coming from it with a super awesome mouthfeel. A little bit of bittering, kind of rye action on the tongue, kind of feels like it accentuates that. I mean, I dig this beer. It's spicy. Spicy is the name of the game, not necessarily in a spicy way that you would think of when it comes to like peppers. Spicy in a way that you'd expect from kind of old school, kind of rye beers, red ales, those kind of beers, that kind of spiciness. And that can work really well. And when you combine that with the mouthfeel, it becomes something almost like a, a, a duh, no shit Sherlock kind of moment where it's like, oh, it kind of works really well together. And I dig it. I think it's great. I don't think it's everybody's kind of beer. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, not a lot of people kind of dig these old school kind of flavors, but if you do, this probably, 
probably turn you on quite a bit. So let's cut to that chase. Is it one of the better red ales that I've had as late? It defaults to number one because I can't tell you the last time I had one. In the grand scheme of things, is it one of the better hopped up for beers? Yes. It's not the best one I've ever had, but it's pretty damn nice. And its uniqueness and its style makes it a pretty damn tasty beer. Value and availability. It's all farm said. The prices usually aren't too poopy. Only problem is you gotta drive in the middle of nowhere to get it and leave you with if you like what we like to spirit, if you like old school jams. I mean, that's what you're getting here. So kind of imagine your new school mouthfeel now those old school red ales, getting that nice spiciness from a malt, from those hops, and all that's in play. And then you add that extra component of that mouthfeel. That's what you dig. You'll dig this. So there we go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little uh, Hill Farmstead jam right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers.